Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Today for the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia, we are going to be stepping into the era of Water 7 to examine the ever intriguing Doa Doa no Mi. The Doa Doa no Mi is a paramecia type fruit that allows its user to create a vaguely defined door through essentially anything that they are able to touch. It was eaten by former CP9 agent and great bovine lookalike Bluno and first demonstrated in the series during the Water 7 arc. As you may have guessed by now, this fruit takes its name directly from the English word door, which is pronounced as doa in Japanese. Quite specifically though, doa refers to any form of door that was an import from the Western world, which most commonly will be your classical hinge doors as opposed to traditional Japanese sliding doors, which are quite simply known as to. And as a result of English being used directly in its name, the English translation for this bad boy is incredibly straightforward with both Viz and Funimation opting to call it the door door fruit. All right, so at this point, you'd be forgiven for not being overly excited about this fruit. I mean, and crafting doors does sound like a fairly mundane ability and all, but this fruit is actually pretty damn crazy. One of its primary strengths is that the user can generate a door on any surface, with the likely exceptions of sea stone and ocean water in general. And so the most basic application of this fruit becomes something along the lines of becoming invulnerable to any kind of physical obstructions. If there's any form of wall, then no worries, we'll just make a handy dandy door to pass through it. But the Doa Doa no Mi goes a lot deeper than such rudimentary functionality, as the user is not restricted to hard physical surfaces to craft their doors and as such, they can also be created out of air. And well, what's the point in that? I mean, where does the door actually lead, given that it does not exist as part of some sort of physical obstruction? Well, as it turns out, crafting a door in this way will allow the user to step into a pocket dimension. Yes, you heard right, a pocket dimension. This alternate dimension is for all intents and purposes a replica of what we'll call reality and abides by all the same laws of science, with the sole exception of being rather green and squiggly for some reason. And really, the ability to access this dimension is most certainly the chief selling point of the fruit for me anyway. Like creating doors is great and all, but the concept of a dimension that only you have the ability to enter or leave is where the real power of this fruit lies. With that said, the user of the Doa Doa no Mi can bring other beings or things into this dimension. In fact, anyone can access it if they're able to step through the door in time, but that may be quite an undesirable idea because that person would then become trapped in the dimension until the user decides to make another door back to reality. Which also briefly leads me to another funky quirk of the fruit, which is that all doors generated by the user will shut on their own after a certain amount of time regardless of the user's wishes. Although the user can manually shut the doors before this elapsed time limit. As for exactly what this time limit is, it's quite unknown, as well as its potential relation to the size or type of doors created. But back to the wonderful world of alternate dimensions, this ability gives the user of the Doa Doa no Mi a great range of options in combat, as it can act as an effective ambush mechanism, or in the worst case scenario, even a safe haven to retreat into that nobody, no matter how powerful they are, be it an admiral, a Yonko, or even a pirate king can break through to you. But of course, the main advantage is travel via the use of the completely uninhabited pocket dimension. The user of this fruit can travel incredible distances and pass through high security measures as if they were on a Sunday stroll. Especially considering that whilst in the pocket dimension, in theory, there is nothing that stops them creating doors for any physical obstacles they encounter. Meaning that the user of the Doa Doa no Mi does more or less have complete free reign over their travel within the world. So with that in mind, let's zero in on Bluno's use of the fruit. And I have to say that it's a bit disappointing. First of all, Bluno is a secret agent of the world government. So he is in quite possibly the absolute perfect profession to make use of the Doa Doa no Mi. And it was a valuable asset in terms of abducting and transporting Nico Robin. But other than that, I don't think Bluno's personality is the best fit for a utility fruit such as this. And this becomes particularly clear in combat. Bluno, as with all CP9 members, is a student of the Rokushiki, a set of abilities designed to turn an individual into a perfect superhuman. As such, this fighting style does not encourage the evasive and tactical benefits of the Doa Doa no Mi. And while Bluno does use it in desperate circumstances, he is much more disposed to hand to hand combat, despite blatantly flaunting the potential of the fruit on multiple occasions throughout his fight with Luffy. The fight that he eventually lost because he literally just decided to stand there and tank a hit, rather than using any of his funky abilities. And now we reach an interesting discussion because the Doa Doa no Mi is far from a standard paramecia, and so I highly doubt that it would subscribe to the standard expectations of an awakening. First and foremost, a lot of people might not like this idea, but it is entirely possible that Bluno is already an awakened Devil Fruit user, and that could be the reasoning behind why he can create air doors and access an alternate dimension. That is, of course, the boring way to look at it, but I did feel like it needed a bit of flagging. The other possibilities include the user potentially being able to create doors from a distance without the necessity for direct touch. Maybe even like the idea of using a portal gun, or perhaps even the ability to open up doors into multiple different pocket dimensions. But the thought I find most appealing in relation to this fruit is the potential to create a wormhole. So taking the idea of doors to an extreme and building one that connects two entirely different points in space-time to allow the user even easier travel around the world, or perhaps even the universe. 
Some other miscellaneous things to consider when becoming a door human. While all we've really examined in this video thus far has been the creation of hinge type doors, it is in fact possible to create other types of doors as well, which was shown when Bluno turned part of Luffy's face into a revolving door. It is currently unknown if any extra kinds of doors can be produced, but given the name of the fruit, it would be reasonable to suggest that it can replicate all Western styles of doors at least. Also currently, we have no knowledge on how big a door the user can create, but it's not out of the realm of possibility to say that it could be as big a space as the user is willing to touch, which may allow for some pretty incredible use in the world of transport, particularly in regards to any sort of wide-scale military operation. To summarize, the Doa Doa no Mi is a pretty unique paramecia that grants user an incredible ability to traverse the world without fear of, well, anything. It is perfect for people who have no desire for conflict, although it is also a handy addition for those who are more inclined towards it. This fruit is useful to everyone, if only to allow the more lazy of us to take a shortcut to various parts of our own homes. And while it's certainly not my personal favorite devil fruit, I would eagerly consume it and go on to enjoy my life of entirely unrestricted movement. And with that, we are going to commit the Doa Doa no Mi to the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia. Next week, we'll be continuing our investigation of Devil Fruits held by Cypherpol agents by looking into the power of Rob Lucci himself in the Neko Neko no Mi Model Leopard. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produced in general, then please do consider donating to the Grand Line Review Patreon because the support of all of your amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. Also do check out my Teespring store if you're interested in shirts, hoodies, and other miscellaneous items with the proceeds going directly to support the channel itself. And if you'd like to join the fun at any time, then please do head over to my Discord server where a wide array of shenaniganry takes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment with your thoughts on the Doa Doa no Mi. This has been the Grand Line Review and I'll see you next time.